The following video is an educational guide for pregnant women and their families. All visuals are for demonstration purposes only. Your labor and birth experience may be different. This video is not intended to replace any medical exam or consultation with your doctor or midwife. We recommend that you practice these methods at home to get used to them before going to the hospital in labor. As your pregnancy progresses, one of the most important things you can practice before you go into labor is breathing. Deep, slow, and rhythmic breathing brings oxygen to your muscles and uterus while relieving tension and stress, making each contraction more productive and comfortable. For pregnancy, deep, slow, rhythmic breathing can bring about a sense of calm and peace. With each breath, you should feel safe and supported. Be in the moment. Deep, slow, rhythmic breathing gives you a focal point that takes your mind off your pain or discomfort. It also makes time go by faster. If you feel dizzy or lightheaded, you should begin to breathe from your belly, filling your lungs fully and completely. Do not shorten your breath, as that can lead to hyperventilation. Vocalization is very helpful. Low, guttural sounds are more beneficial for labor than high-pitched sounds. Inhales are usually quiet. Exhales can be vocal. This could mean letting out a deep sigh, moaning, groaning, or blowing out air. Do whatever makes you feel good. Let's start with practicing the basic cleansing breath. Pull in a deep breath through your nose and release the breath out through your mouth. We suggest you do this at the beginning and end of each contraction. Think of it as a welcoming or signaling breath for your body to release and relax at the beginning of a contraction. And at the end, the cleansing breath releases any remaining tension in your body and indicates the contraction is over. Slow and rhythmic breathing can help you focus during a contraction. Any breathing that becomes rhythmic and slow will help your body relax. Slowly pull in a deep breath from your belly. Your abdomen will rise and fall with each breath. You can even try counting your breaths or adding imagery to them. Another technique might be to shorten your breathing at rib cage level or higher. Pull in a quick, short breath through your nose. When you feel your rib cage expand, immediately release a quick, short breath through your mouth. A modified version of this is to add some light panting at the peak of each contraction, like you're blowing out a candle. Panting or blowing during pushing can ease your baby out as the head begins to crown. This helps to prevent or minimize tearing. Whatever method you choose, don't forget your breathing. This should be nice and rhythmic, free and easy. Breathe how it feels good for you. Start and end each contraction with a cleansing breath. In between cleansing breaths, try a breathing pattern. For mild to moderate contractions, try using slow breathing techniques that may assist you in focusing and reducing tension. You may need to try several to learn what works best for you. This is a series of slow and rhythmic breaths that become deeper and longer as the intensity of your contractions increase, peak, and go away. As your labor advances, your contractions may be more uncomfortable, so try paced breathing. When tension develops in muscles, shorter, quicker breaths such as upper chest breathing can be helpful. Welcome the contraction with a cleansing breath. As your contraction peaks, do short, light breaths in and out of your mouth. End with a cleansing breath. You can also try pattern breathing. Welcome the contraction with a cleansing breath. Take light, short breaths through your mouth. After a few breaths in a row, let out a longer breath, almost like you're saying the word who or blowing out a candle. Repeat this pattern until your contraction is over. End with a cleansing breath. These techniques and patterns are only suggestions. You can adapt them to whatever is most comfortable for you. Follow your body and breathe in a way that is comfortable. To be prepared, we recommend that you practice beforehand so that it becomes almost second nature. Your partner should also be familiar with all of these techniques. He or she can help you keep rhythm, offer suggestions, and be a source of encouragement. Remember, when you are feeling overwhelmed and exhausted during your pregnancy, just breathe.